One of the best ways to prolong the life of a compact track loader is to focus on the tracks. We're going to take an in-depth look at a check and adjust track tension. Today we're bringing in one of our experts from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Riley. Riley, thank you for being here. First things first, why is it so important to have the right track tension on a compact track loader? Well, it's important because uh, it's going to extend the life of your tracks. Uh, it's going to extend, you know, not just your tracks, but all undercarriage and components. You know, it's going to save you on repairs, you know, basically new tracks, components uh, before you need them, actually. You're going to get just a lot of life out of everything. And that's the most important thing. I've always heard customers say they can feel it when the tension isn't right and it affects how it operates. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If, uh, if, you're, if it's not tight enough, you know, you can get runaway tracks. You're going to feel it uh, in the cab for sure. Depending on the machine and its utilization, some operators do basic checks and maintenance every day. How often do you recommend checking track tension on a CTL? Uh, the recommended amount of time is about every 50 hours on the machine. Um, every day doesn't hurt, you know, um, just keep an eye on it all the time pretty much. And that routine checking of the tracks, that's pretty simple to do. Not a big undertaking to add to your daily walk around. And if it does need to be tightened, that's a pretty quick and simple process to do, right? Uh, it's real simple. All you do is, you know, you tilt your bucket down, uh, push it against the ground so it lifts, you know, part of the machine up. And then on that third roller, you can see the space in between the roller and the track. and and you want about an inch, inch and a half anymore, and you want to tighten it up any less, you can take some grease out. Just one grease zerk and uh, you just, the more you grease it, the tighter it gets. One of the things I've seen is operators who mistakenly think they can't have any sag in the tracks. So explain over tightening and what impact that has. Yeah, I think there's a big uh, misconception that you can't over tighten and you definitely can over tighten. And uh, uh, the biggest deal with that is it's just gonna create excessive wear on the track and other undercarriage components. And uh, you, you'll just be, again, replacing components uh, faster than you really need to be. We have people who are CCE focused service technicians, warranty people, they're supporting all aspects of the machines. How important is that to your customers? I, a lot of what our selling point is, is the support after the fact, you know, our service, our parts, uh, warranty, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's not just the machine, it's who we are as a company and, and how we support our customers that really sells the equipment. Riley, this was a great conversation. We don't always get a chance to talk about equipment maintenance. These how-to type topics that really give our, our viewers good, actionable takeaways. So I really appreciate you sharing tips for keeping CTLs up and running. Thanks for being on the track. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me here. A compact track loader is nothing without its tracks. With good care, those tracks can last a long time. So be sure to include checking and adjusting track tension in your regular maintenance and inspection program. Not to be confused with CTL tracks, this is the track. As always, I'm Dennis, thanks for watching. Follow me on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel.